on your behalf to Aboriginal people present here today. The act of whistleblowing is an act of courage. It is something that has created a safer, more secure, healthier society. Whistleblowers have outed bent cops. They've outed corrupt practices in businesses. They've outed environmental dumpers. They have outed people who have used our hospital system and abused our hospital system. Throughout our society, we welcome whistleblowers because they are standing up for the common good. And it seems that even here in New South Wales, we have legislation to protect whistleblowers. So it's fine to blow the whistle against a cop or against the environmental dumper or against a politician. But heaven help you, if you dare to stand up to the international elites who determine our foreign policy. Heaven help you if you put into the public domain information that exposes the corrupt practices, the inhumane practices of those people who determine foreign policy and defence policy. Heaven help you if you dare put into public the appalling dehumanisation that goes on in foreign policy the way collateral, the way human beings are treated as collateral damage. The damage done by the drone craft, the damage done by the slip of a pen, by the signature on a piece of paper that makes millions of people homeless and puts their lives at risk. We should not be allowing Julian Assange to be persecuted. He is a hero. <laughs> Just as those who have, who have outed environmental dumpers are heroes, Julian Assange is a public servant. He serves the public. He has dared to stand up and put in the public domain the documents that expose the way foreign policy is manipulated to make corporations wealthy, 
at the expense of human life, human health and human happiness. It is, I was just told a great saying, we should have a state where the people do not fear their government, but the government fears their people. That is what we need and that is what Julian Assange was creating by blowing the whistle on the corrupt foreign policy orders that are running our planet, creating war to create profit for military corporations. He has made the people understand that foreign policy is not about their security, it's about the wealth of the corporations that dominate the United States and Europe and Australia. Right now, Julian Assange faces extradition to Sweden and from there on to the United States. The conservative right wing of American politics, and isn't that almost all of it, are baying for his blood, literally. Daily there are more calls to execute Julian Assange after, of course, the nicety of a trial and the nicety of a conviction. Daily we hear more rhetoric coming out of the United States looking to turn Bradley Manning into a scapegoat for the Bradley Manning and Julian Assange into a scapegoat for the failure of US foreign policy in Afghanistan and Iraq. What we should be doing in Australia is standing up for our citizens. The Australian government should stand up for every citizen who is in trouble overseas. But they should particularly stand up for a citizen who is being persecuted for doing nothing more than that which is a moral responsibility. To stand by as the Australian Foreign Minister and the Australian Prime Minister are doing and allow Julian Assange to go to, to, on a show trial to Sweden and then to be whisked off to the United States to be rendered to the United States where he will face for sure a rib trial and where he will face a terrible punishment is not just to ignore the courage of Bradley Manning, is to ignore the rights of every Australian everywhere in the world to act according to their conscience. Julia Gillard and our Foreign Minister Kevin Rudd have done everything they can to ignore this issue. My colleague in the Australian Senate, Scott Ludlam, has put hundreds of questions to them, seeking their explanation for why they have not done more. And they have not answered those questions Scott will continue. Scott went to England. Right now he is in Sweden trying to work out how he can expose that this is not about morality, this is not about looking after citizens, this is about an execution of a man who has done the right thing. Australians are world renowned for our commitment to fair play. What we say is to you, Julia Gillard, and to you, Kevin Rudd, Play fair, play nice, play honest, respect the man and do what you can to make sure that he is not rendered to Sweden and then on rendered in an act of total annihilation of human rights off to the United States. If we are to have a safer world and a more peaceful world and a more prosperous world, we need more Julian Assange's. Yeah. We need yeah. more WikiLeaks. We need exposure. Any government who is afraid of the truth, is afraid of their own people, is afraid of outcomes. We need the truth. Julian Assange gave us the truth. We are standing by Julian. We are standing by Bradley Manning. We stand by every whistleblower who dares to stand up and challenge the power of the military industrial complex and the corporations that profit from war and their handmaidens in the governments of the United States, of the United Kingdom, Europe and Australia. This is a people's movement for truth. It is a people's movement for justice. All power to the organisers of this event. All power to you for standing up for decency, honesty and the truth. Thank you very much indeed.